welcome to Lido Fine Art and welcome if you are new to this channel. Um, if you don't know anything about me, I am a psychic medium working on my mediumship who also does comics or just like art um, on the side. And yeah, so this video today is going to be about the McKamey Manor and I hope I said it right because if I didn't, I am sorry. But anyway, if you don't know anything about it, it's basically this haunted house that claims that you need like a 40 page um, consent form or waiver that you have to, you know, go through all the steps to fill it out. And that includes like doctor visits and stuff and health checks to make sure that you are able to withstand the trauma that you will be facing during the haunted house. Now, I believe it's located in San Diego. Let me just double check that to make sure I'm right. Yeah. And I think I heard about there being two other places, one in like Tennessee and one in Alabama. Don't know how true it is. I didn't exactly research a lot of it because I kind of, I don't know, I don't want to form some kind of biased opinion. I just want to go off based of what I'm getting, like psychically and energetically and whatnot. So what about this manor? Oh, so it claims to be a haunted house, but really what it is, is a torture house. Let's be real. Um, could there be spirits there? Oh, for sure there's spirits there. And um, I don't know how active they are in haunting, but the house itself doesn't really focus on the haunting aspect, really. It's really only to torture you, like physically and mentally torture you through like, um, I don't know, I think this said waterboarding. You can be strangled. You can be stabbed. Pretty much if you put yourself in a horror film, like what's a good example? Saw. You know the Saw franchise? that picture you being in that movie where you know to break free you either kill your friend or stab your friend cut their foot off to escape it's that kind of gruesome stuff and to be honest even though there's a what a twenty thousand dollar prize if you win but you have to of course stand withstand 10 hours of it um, first of all, who in their right mind would want to do that? Even if you're suicidal, you're not going to want to do that. So, I mean, if you're one of those adrenaline junkies, I don't know, don't recommend it. But what I'm getting from that, and I spent a few days trying to like meditate on it, there is a lot of negative energy. And people have died there, which is why they make you fill out that waiver. And um, to be honest, it kind of feels like, how do I describe it? I know what I want to say, but it's going to sound weird or stupid or I don't know. But um, it kind of feels like they are making it haunted. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose. But it kind of feels like it's a haunted house in the making. And I'm not even talking about the torture part of the attraction. I'm talking about all the negative things, all the violence that happens there. That's just creating so much bad energy, so much, you know, bad entities for sure. I'm not even going to question that. Hell, you get one murder house, right? And boom. Because of that, you know, you get spirit because someone died, you know, unexpectedly. And I'm not just saying that's the only way to get, like, spirits and stuff. But it is a good recipe for sure. Um, and demons, they thrive on negativity. And that house, the McKimmy house is full of negativity 
And I don't know how they are not shut down yet, but I'm pretty sure people are going to be petitioning to shut it down because of, you know, the, well, if you somehow, I don't even think anyone's made it through it, hence the prize. So basically, you're not allowed to end early unless you are physically incapable, as in you need a, a medical treatment immediately. And they're not talking about like, oh, I scraped my knee or I broke my arm. They're like near death at how severe you have to be before you can go early. And you have to have so much mental trauma, which will probably last for the rest of your life, to even leave. And I don't even know what they consider severe enough mental trauma. Like, I don't even know what they consider for that. And for those who, um, again, how do I say this? For those who believe in the paranormal and are aware of what negative entities, demons like to feed on, it is negativity. If you have any kind of weakness, whether you're sick mentally, physically, um, you're just down in the dumps, you can have depression, anything that, you know, puts a chink in your armor, and by that I mean like in your aura, anything that makes you weaken pretty much is a, is pretty much a homing beacon for demons, and I'm not saying this for everyone, but it is a good magnet, I would say, for, you know, such things. So let's say there aren't any spirits in that manner, whatever, but everything that you endure, you're going to carry for the rest of your life. And so you're going to attract those things anyway. So if you don't have them attached to you coming out, you won't be getting some, you know, as you progress through life because they're going to be attracted to you now that you are weakened. So do you really want to play that game? Plus, what about yourself? Like, I don't know about you, but I can barely handle like a broken bone. I've had what? Two, three broken bones? That sucked. Like, it sucked. Now, being near death? I mean, I'm sorry, but is it really worth it? I mean, even if it's free to get in, well, free, if you pay in dog food, I guess it's not technically free. But again, why? So I don't recommend it. And as the paranormal side of it, there's a lot of negativity. There are some demons there for sure. There are some earthbound spirits there for sure. And yeah. So, and if you ask me, well, how do you know you've never been there? I don't have to go to tell. I already can tell. I've had dreams about it. So, anybody who thinks that they're interested in going, do yourself a favor. Do your family a favor. Just don't. Okay? And, you know, the guy who runs this thing and if he sees this video, I mean, I'm a nobody, so he probably won't see this video anyway. But, uh, why? Do you get a kick out of it? Like, what? I don't understand the purpose of it. Um, are you trying to fulfill some kind of, like, serial killer fantasy? Like, what's going on? For someone who has studied behavior and psychology and all that stuff, I'm not going to put any labels on you. And I'm not going to say it directly because you know. You might want to um, reconsider that whole attraction thing. Maybe just like, I, I wouldn't because 
There's, there's something not right, dude. Why? It just doesn't make sense. So, yes, this is my video. Don't know how good it was. Uh, just like all my videos. It's a... But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you next time, whenever that is. Peace out.